My name is uh, Bluntweiser. I am the eerie practitioner of ominous occult alchemical shenanigans. Um, you're tuning in to the ill-advised records, board.ai, text-to-art gathering tutorial. I'm going to sit here and walk through the steps of getting started with board AI and text to art in general. So let's go ahead and get it going. The first thing we're going to do in here, and we're going to go to welcome. Board AI is the creative partner of your dreams that can transform your imagination into beautiful imagery. Type your words into the bot and watch as it creates something magical. Whether you're an AI veteran, a traditional artist, or simply curious about generating art with AI, our bot is designed to guide you towards exceptional results. We're happy to have you with us and can't wait to see your creative journey unfold. Here's how you can get started in, cre in our creative community. Drop into the main hall and wish your fellow, uh, your fellows, a good day. It looks like the main hall is buzzing, so let's go. Okay. All righty. Later, barn. Peace. Um. Cheers, Corvus. Thank you. Morning, Zeku. Indeed, I am chill. Mm. Oh, yeah, just a heads up. I am prone for typos. And I have to let the cat out. I will be right back. Okay, so it says to say hello. Fresh painters, because that's what, what we are. Learn how to transform your ideas into high resolution images. Visit the How to Generate channel. Create beautiful art in the generator. All you need to do is start with exclamation point go. That's, um, that's your command. Uh, by entering the Board AI Discord server, you acknowledge that you have read and understood and approved the terms of conditions. Oh. You can I trust you entirely. Um, but first, verify that you're a human, even though we love robots a lot, by hitting your favorite emoji on the message below. See you on the other side. Mm, what emoji? What emoji? She. Yes, this emoji right here. So the next thing we're going to do is check out how to generate here. I can click it here. I go over to the tabs. We're going to click it here. Scroll up it to the top. We don't want to miss anything. Very important thing, banned words, okay? No uh, no racist, hateful, bigotous, um, uh, profane, things of this nature. God, even though it's, God is on that list, even though it's not really a profanity or hurtful, but uh, for whatever reason, but, you could use deity, you could use God-like, you could use many ways to get around that if you want to make your art about something uh, exalted and otherworldly from above. So just be careful. You can click on that and figure out those words yourself. Just don't use 
hateful speech and you should be fine. It all starts with words. Your creation process with Bored AI begins with a text description entered by you or me, us, everyone, whoever. After you articulate your first text description, the bot will expand upon your initial text description and suggest full prompts that are more detailed, then generate your favorite full prompt into a high resolution image. That's the exclamation point go process they're speaking of in this paragraph. But we have a few other engines as well that I'll show you and introduce you to. The following steps highlight the process from beginning to end. If you take one thing from this tutorial, it's that we always start with exclamation point go. Reiterating the whole exclamation point go. You interact with the board AI by means of commands, the command exclamation point. Uh, the command is a message that begins with an exclamation mark followed by command word. In this case, the command we use to kickstart the creation process is go, or a number. We have numbered prompts to exclamation point um, G1. Type in exclamation mark go, followed by a brief text description to get started. For example, we tried cute dog, beagle, high detail, photorealistic, hyperrealistic. Oh, yeah, okay, I read that correctly. Choosing your favorite full prompt. So you're going to put your sentence in there. That's the first sentence. That's the one that you initially put. And then it's going to suggest some more worded wording that are that is fine-tuned for the AI to comprehend best to give you a very good image. It's got some keywords in there you might not have added that's going to help the AI. You can pick which one of those words or worded prompts you think is going to give you the best image from what it is you would like to get. And then you're going to sculpt it. You're going to go through the process. Which one of these? Oh, it's not going to be number one. Number two is okay. Number three is, hmm. Oh, look at that. Number four looks fire. Looks like they chose number four. I probably would have chose two. I like two. And then you're going to polish it. Okay, so after you choose one of those images, it's going to give you four variations of it for you to choose the cleanest, best image to your liking. They chose one. Bam. Then you're going to pick your final. It's going to pick the one out of, the, out of those four that you picked. It's going to polish it a little bit further for you. Okay, you got four options, and then you're good to go. Then you share on social media. You uh, use the hashtag, Board AI. And you use, I'm going to send a tweet and actually show that to you right now. Let me go ahead and get that tweet shared. We're going to go into the next paragraph in just a moment. And to get credits, to get credits, uh, you will start with two credits each day as a fresh painter. To get more credits each day, a good way to go about it is... to send out tweets. So uh, I'm going to share this tweet into proof. Once you've sent out your tweet of your art or a Facebook post or an Instagram post, um, any number of social media posts, any s number of social media sites you can use. The key, however, is to tag the official board AI of that social media. So here, I've tagged officially board AI right here. That is the Twitter. And also another official board AI account on Twitter is the board AI gallery. And then I went ahead and tagged ill-advised records and the dark lo-fi girl hashtag. 
um, these are the communities that uh, I'm bringing together with these here series of videos. So I wanted to get all that organized and this video is leading up to October the 15th at 11 a.m. my time, Southern California time. I will be doing a live um, Twitch stream and fellow members of the ill-advised Discord will be joining in. And this is basically a tutorial, so that way if you guys wanted to get a heads up before you guys came over and have an idea of what you're doing, you would have that option. Okay, so the tweet. will net me because I, I am a members chip holder. I hold a members chip. In fact, I hold three members chip. That's what that fire, a mega MC holder. I get five per tweet as a, without a members chip, you would, I forget, two, maybe three. I do not recall specifically. There you go, there's my five credits and Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, even my edits, even my edits have typos. I'm going to hit with a bored AI emoji and a dark lo-fi emoji. I'm just going to emoji it up. I do GAF. I like the emojis. I like these four. These are my favorites from each server. The uh, That's the angel. The angel with all the eyes creature. It's a dark lo-fi girl. That's the uh, uber card holder fireball. And this, this is because I participated in the the weekend movie at Ill Advised Records uh, Discord channel. All right, so that tweet's there. That's how you get your your credits. Let's go back to Welp and make sure I followed all my bases here. We did the welcome. We went to how to generate. How to generate. Okay, so this down here is going to talk you through a G10. Before I do that, I'm going to take you through the process of a GO. You guys are going to go here because you're fresh, fresh painters and you haven't unlocked the clubs yet, but you can. You can come in and unlock clubs day one if you want, and I'll show you how. You go in here and you pick what you like. Uh, trippy clowns, minimalists, psychedelic landscapes. We'll skip over that one. I'm not sure if that one's active. Um, the Mental Gymnastics Club, Brain Matters, Neon Lights, Photography, Under the Water, Math Art Magicians, and Disruptive Street Art. This was my home for a very long time. Disruptive Street Art is where I learned to get my AI art skills up. Love this club. Love its uh, curator. Uh, two brighter, 1980. Such a dope dude. Such a dope person. All right. These are these are the clubs that you can join. What you do is you make an art that fits the the theme of that club. You make a few arts. Uh, you pick your very best two, three, four, and then you tag the curator of the club, and you drop those arts in main hall and. and submit arts for consideration by the curator, and they'll let you know. Um, we're all on different time zones, so don't expect a, an immediate response. Give a day or two for people to get online, and uh, then we'll catch up. Uh, the, eventually, if after a few days you don't get the attention of the curator, try again. Submit some other pictures. All right. Uh, one club that's not on that list is 
mine, and that's right here. That is the Dark Arts Club. I have created this page for you guys. Uh, this is where I'm going to do my art, because I'm not going to do my art in any of these other pages, like the generator, because I don't want to show my fellow artists prompts. That'd be a faux pas. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do my art right here. Um, I've set this up for you guys. Look at all these really cool emojis. Huh? Huh? Um, I set this up because I want you guys to see this. I want you to go to WikiArt. This has lots of keywords that will be useful. This has artist, art movements, art styles, um, eras based on time. This Wiki Aesthetic also has other keywords you guys could use to modify your prompts. Um, this is just an intro video that I totally didn't do the intro when I began my thing. This is the flyer for the weekend. This is the event, the Discord, ill-advised actual event for this week weekend. And this is my Twitch channel. All right, so I'm going to be just fresh, fresh painter, right? I'm going to do a dog. Go, a dog. All right, guys, I will be right back. Hello, sir. I see you there, Diggs. What up, man? I'll be right back with you guys. not been paying attention, have I? All right, so, okay, so I gave it a generic response. I'm going to do both. I'm going to see what a dog looks like, and we're going to see a dog from, uh, what is it? I'm not even right. A brown dog and white dog with its tongue out photo, a dog. See, so it takes my generic prompt and it, it soups it up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go back over here. While that's cooking these two images, we're going to go over some more of this um, literature. Uh, we'll go to the G10. The rules, the rules are quite simple. Keep discussions to the project, its use cases, the tech, etc. Artificial intelligence, text art, AI art. No harassing or soliciting via chats or DMs. Be careful. Um, any strangers in your DMs, go ahead. If they're asking, if they're trying to shill you a project or something like that, go ahead and report it right here. Let these guys know. Look at this. Somebody was up to some BS. So if somebody's getting in your DMs all greasily and they're trying to shill a project or get you to click on a link, a suspicious link, report it, because they'll try to get to all of us. We don't want that. So, um, win credits. Win credits. Every day there is a competition, a themed competition. And about a 24-hour period, I think, to, to submit your pictures. A 
think you get two or three. Let's see if it says up here. Is there a thread? No. Over here at the top? No. I believe it's three. It looks like it's... Let's get... Ooh. This one. Alien, you're getting a vote from me, my guy. Alien. Yes. So much yes. This dude always makes dope arts. Let me see. Let me read it. <laughs> All righty. That is something new I've never heard of and a cool art. That is awesome. Ooh. A water imp. Um, oh, that's gnarly. Lex. Lex makes dope arts too. Everybody makes dope arts actually. So these are people's submissions. Looks like it's, I'm not, I don't want to guarantee it's Japanese art, but it looks to be, here we go. Okay, so, Japanese mythology artworks. It started today, 11 a.m. my time, it's about when I wake up, okay. Oh no, it's a little bit afterwards. I'll be at work by this time in the, in the morning. All right, well anyhow, it starts after I've been to work a little bit. Now I know when it starts. Um, Japanese mythology artwork. Create your artwork and submit it here to win credits. Uh, your artwork can be any aspect ratio. I'll get to you. I will teach you guys the aspect ratio, I promise. I got gotcha. you. That's one of the coolest parts. It's a new update too. You guys are so lucky you come in and after the cool stuff. Like the super cool stuff. Um, three entries per member, that's what I thought. Nine hours. Okay, so I thought it was 24, but it's nine hours. The winner of the day, you get uh, get a special badge. Oh, you vote through the hearts. You vote for your... Oh, I put the wrong... I didn't vote then, did I? Let's go back and find my... I voted for Crypto Tars, because that's a dope one. See, I hearted his art because that's dope. Tars, this one though, this one. Um, where? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, those are my favorites. The fox mask, the geisha face, and the bathing creature. Um, so, let's go check on our arts, yeah? Oh, wow, it gave me photo quality. Eh, see, my prompt gave me some dogs, some dogs. I'm going to go to number four. All right, number four, I don't know why you're begging at me. I don't have any snacks, my guy. Um... You dudes maybe look like you would like a bowl of water. Um, number four looks pretty legit. Number number one has a whole lot of tongue going on. Number two is an action shot. We'll go with number three. Number three looks like a good dog. So those are going to cook, and we will go over here and go over some literature again, yeah? Um... Okay, those are cooking. We're going to give Diggs B, uh, BTW7 a follow for being my first person chatting in my my stream and participating in it as well. It's awesomeness, bro. Um, okay, those are cooking, and, and I'm going to get back to some of this other literature. How to generate, we're doing those. Thought those were dogs. Oh, okay, one of my dogs cooked up. Um, hmm, hmm. Look at how close to the camera. 
is in focus and down at his feet is out of focus. Definitely photography going on in this one without me prompting much of it in there. All righty. Literature. Where was that? We did that. We did that. Hmm. No spamming. No advertising. No referral links. No pump, no mo you, no pump or dump. Promote no promo. Just don't promote other crap. No speculation. Market speech. It's none of that hate speech madness. No inappropriate language, etc., etc., etc. Um, of course, no, no, no. Nobody's ever not read thoroughly and agreed to the terms and conditions of anything ever. So yeah, I. You guys are going to read those, and I know. Oh, don't get banned. Don't don't be a negative Nancy, and uh, you should be fine. Give him a fireball, because I'm a mega member. All right, uh, announcements. Okay, I, that reminded me. Let me see if I got my, my bullet points. I got a bullet point. I don't know if I've gotten through them all here. Um, uh, let me see here. I didn't do the welcome part. I totally messed off my intro that I spent a whole day designing. So we'll scratch that off. Um, the emoji, the main hall hello, how to generate rules. Now, announcements. I had things here I wanted to say. You guys come in here. Um, if you need help, you can use the at mentor. And um, these group of artists are organized specifically to help people to learn the rope, not just of, of the server uh, or the art, but of both. Um, a lot of people, when they come in to board AI, they're not just new to text art or AI art. For example, they're brand like myself. For example, brand new to Discord entirely. I didn't, I didn't know anything about Discord other than um, it's to communicate while you're playing video games, which I didn't get because the headset connects to my controller. Anyhow, so, um, you're probably some of, well, actually, you guys are Discord server members of Vital Advise, but some of you guys will be brand new to Discord, and then, so the mentors will help you to navigate all of this over here. As well as uh, the AI art engine and the wording and the prompting and the etc. Um, make sure to participate in the uh, in the art competitions every single day. This this is what I wanted to tell you. Uh, your your Twitch viewers subscribe to my pal Q Daddy Puffin here. Yeah. He is a Twitch guy. That's why I came here. Announcements for that. And also this. Okay, so this is a card game. Where, um, I'm going to put it in the... Uh, hmm. Click on that, and uh, some of the cards are made from me, by me. Uh, most of the, let's see over here. I can't, I don't want to go in there and show you anybody else's prompts, but this is the club where we make the cards for this game. It's, uh, it's like an adventure card game. I forgot what they say it's like. Check that game out. It's, the game is dope. All right, so here's our dogs. I'm not going to follow through with the last, I'm not going to follow through with that one. I, this is my wording, my dog. This is the one I'm going to follow through with. Um, go check out the card game. I would bring you to it, but this is my first Twitch stream. I don't know if I click on that, if it's going to take me to that, if it's going to stream right. So uh, I'm just going to stick to the subject matter, which is the board AI text art. Um, the generator, once again, this is where you guys are going to be at. But if you want to join my club, the club is the super secret, super awesome. 
You got to know about it to know about it. Dark Arts Club. Make some spooky arts in the generator. Creepy arts. Uh, I love folklore. If you're from another part of the world and you have folklore that I haven't heard about, I might not know about. Oh, my God. Yes. All the yeses. Um, I love folklore. Mm, spooky stuff. Um, not really into ghosts, but I do love creatures. I like monster-esque creatures. I'm going to... Oh, yeah. I forgot I'm streaming. I would have saved that and tweeted it out. But I usually would do that on my device and not my desk device. All right. So that, you guys, is how the GO works. You go in there and you tell it, exclamation point GO, your prompt. Okay. Now, now I'm going to give you guys some meat and potatoes. Hold on. I don't want to cough in your ear. All right, so I'm going to give you some meat and potatoes prompt. And, mm -hmm. So, oh, the G10. Okay, let's go back over to literature real fast. I'm going to do you a G10, and then I'll explain the aspect ratios. We'll pick an aspect ratio. We'll do a few different uh, arts and a few different aspect ratios. Also, credits. Another thing you do with your credits, one of my favorite things to do with credits is to show them. Oh, you guys want to see craziness? Look, oh my god. Look at all of that. Oh. Outsider art. Is art made by self-taught or supposedly uh, a naive artist with typically little or no contact with the conventions of the art worlds? Uh, in many cases, uh, did I read that? Yes, in many cases, their work is uh, discovered only after their deaths. Yes, yes, I'm aware. I'm aware of the odds. I know how things actually work as compared to how we would dream they work. All right, let's get back. All right, so shared my credits. We did the GO. I'm going to walk you through that one more time. We prompted it, and then the AI said, well, there's your, your prompt, but I think if you prompted this one, I'd have better information. I propose that my dog, this sad looking dude right here, is just as, I'll follow it through just to prove my point. Um, eyes messed up, better looking eyes. Uh, something weird with the tongue. I guess this one, the eyes aren't so terrible. The tongue looks more realistic. This one looks a bit better. Eh? So we'll follow that one through. But anyhow, I think my prompting yielded just as good a result. Um, so this aspect ratio I have set here is a portrait. Um, but I want to set square because square is mm, the shape of the advertisement of an album or a single or a song, yeah? So everything absolutely begins with your exclamation point. And then we are going to set square. Hopefully I didn't typo that. The AI is going to tell me I didn't. It's good, good, we're good. AI is all, all right, my guy, we got you. We're going to do square arts. Good shit. Um, let me see. I don't think I need my device anymore right now. Let me set it down. All right, let me see my bullet points again real fast. Announcements, covered it. Um, Slay AI, I covered it. Um, I wrote that so sloppy, I don't even know what it says. Sub to QDP, I suggested that. Let me see if there's um, any. I already did my tweets, so I would have plenty of credits. All right, well, you guys. Um, we'll set square. I want a, uh, a we're going to do a G10 now. I like G10s. All right, so meat and potatoes. I promised you some meat and potatoes. Let's get a New York strip. Let's get some fingerlings. I'm going to need some, uh, I'm going to need some, uh, horseradish sauce. You know what I'm saying? I want some warm bread or some toast. Need some texture. 
plenty of croutons in my salad. Yes, I would, I would love a salad. Chicken Caesar, preferably. Let's get to all of that. Exclamation point G10 is surgery. Um, and exclamation point G-O is a slot machine, okay? Uh, it's, it's the exclamation point G-O is fun uh, because even though all of, a lot of these, you can see the dogs from the very first square, look how far out they are from each other. That's what I mean by the slot machine. The exclamation point G-O gives you four and usually they'll be varying, they'll be very different from each other. Not always, sometimes they'll be close, but anyhow, see that um, so that's the fun that's a lot of exploration that if you if uh, if you're playing around if you want to experiment if you want to put crazy words together or words that you wouldn't think of uh, so playfulness the playfulness engine I would say the fun, fun it's fun um, that's not to say the G10 isn't fun the G10 is where I love to play to me the, G the G10 is the business but the G, the G O is very fun and and explorative. The uh, that's playfulness. Okay, the G ten is seriousness. The G ten is surgery. The G ten is is uh, very precise, and it could that could might sound intimidating, but it's not. Okay, so the G ten is the precise. We're gonna do some. We'll start with. Let's start with the salad. Um, I'm going to show you a um, an early an early formula from before we had these really good surgical engines. It's a three part formula. Um, so your first part of the formula, we're going to do three brackets, and I'm going to I write songs, and I usually write them and uh, in a paragraph format. Not a paragraph, no, not like a paragraph, like a a bar. I write them in a bar. One, two, three, four, right down the center. So I would do my first bar, comma, enter, second bar, comma, enter, third, fourth bar, bam. Now I've got my first rhyme scheme, right? So my point being, my formula is commas. You don't have to use commas, but I'll show you what I mean by that. Three-part formula, your three-course meal. Your first is going, the first part of your formula, I always do subjects. You don't have to. Okay, so... Um, Uh, I guess I'm a bit old, and the younger generations are unaware of uh, Vincent Price being the king of horror of his time. So we're going to do Vincent Price. I want to emphasize Vincent Price. So I want to put these uh, parentheses on him. I'm gonna get back to the comma. I got you on the comma, and that you don't have to use commas. You can use other things. I'll give you uh, some. I'm at a loss for words. I'll show you some of them. These are some examples. Apologies. Um, Vincent Price is my subject. Okay, another piece of the three-course meal. I've got you here. This is the horseradish sauce to go with your steak. Okay? You want descriptors. You want to describe your subject. You want to describe everything needs to be described. Okay? Your colors should be described. Your emotions should be described. Describe your descriptors. That was handed down to me from artists uh, before me on this exact ser server. So I would like an ominous and regal Vincent Price, all right? So that's describing my descriptors. Regal is my descriptor, but it's an ominous regal. I'm describing the how the regalness of it. It's not like a rich regal. It's not a handsome. It's an ominous regal okay an ominous regal and I, I see how I didn't put them in quotation marks that's not the focus uh, Vincent Price is my focus okay so ominous regal Vincent Price comma now I promised you options I got your options I got options for days you could use a bar I haven't used a bar on this device, so a moment. Apologies. I think I found it. You could use a bar. Um, and then, so, three-course meal, your subject. That's your steak, yeah? Um, let's get these fingerling potatoes going on. We want to add to our image. The bar, you could use 
Um, I wouldn't use a period necessarily because that's a hard stop. You could use slash. You could use star. I've used the star before. Um, the dash works. Um, an underscore is fine. Um, so if you were to run this same prompt several times with several different spacers, with using one spacer one time, using another spacer the next time, and yet another spacer further the next time, you would get different results. Not just because you're going to get a different result every time because that's how the AI works, but because the AI is reading those spacers slightly differently from each other. Um, I don't know all of the the absolute subtleties of the specifics, but some things are like a soft stop, a rainy day on a moonlit night. Some of them are hard stops, a rainy day and a moonlit night. So um, experiment. You might like a different format. You might like different spacers. Vincent Price, subject. Um, fingerling potatoes. Um, this part, your second part of the formula, uh, I used to use, usually I would use something, something details. Um, you, could, you could use an art style here and a different artist that doesn't necessarily correspond later. You don't have to use artists. Um, Vincent Price, what do I want? Um, I want it with Ominous Regal Vincent Price. Um, Mm, gothic details. Mm, I said describe my descriptors, didn't I? I'm not really going hard. Also, I want to lighten up on how much it's reading the ominous and regal. So I'm going to lowercase those. See all these different things that shows the AI what you do or don't want emphasis on, essentially. Um, each little thing is a subtle nuance, right? Your texting is like a face-to-face -face communication with the AI. Um, eye subtleties that people look up, whether you look directly at them or not, whether you look at the ground, um, whether you get a flash of anger, uh, the AI can't sense that. But the AI can sense things like, um, for instance, sometimes, not sometimes, often I have a typo even in a person's name, the AI will still go out there and find me the exact actor or actress that it is that I'm trying to make an art of. So mm, the AI reads the subtleties in the way you type your language to it, the way humans read the subtleties of, of facial expressions and uh, vocal inflections, OK? Um, meat and potatoes, subject, uh, three parts. I'm on my second part and I negated to describe my descriptor. Gothic, hmm, clean, gothic, uh, gothic something details, something gothic details. Gothic, hmm, location, hmm, clothing and details. Um, clean gothic, clean gothic clothing and details. Um, I did set this to square, right? Because I'm working on a Vince, a Vinnie Price piece. Uh, I got a Vincent Price lo-fi piece going on right now. I'm working on in Garage Band. Um, Hmm. Three piece subject. Okay, so I've got my subject. I've got my setting or my details. You you could do your setting here. You could put them. Um, you could put them at a ethereal, horrific underworld. You could put your location in here. Um, I got it set to square. I should have kept it at at. Um, Portrait, because I like portraits, but I got it set to square because I'm working on a project and I want some arts to choose from. Okay, so now, the third part of your formula, you got your first part and your second part, 
Your first part is your subject, okay? Your second part, you have a lot of room to play with your second part. It could be a location, it could be the way you want the image to look, it could be an art style. It could be any number of things. It's it's where you can play with everything that's not your subject. That's that's the way I I see it anyhow. Now the third part. This is uh, this is kind of important part. This is where people put their look. Um, I'm gonna run this exact same prompt for you, but I'm going to change the third part of my formula. Also, let me click over here to twi uh, Twitch and see if I've got. Uh, no, not so much. Okay. Um, I thought I'm surprised I didn't overlay in my game chat in my gameplay. I thought I had the chat overlay. I'll figure it out. It's all good. Appreciate you stopping by there, and we're going back. Okay, so let me see if if you oh, you can't see it until I type it in. Oh, you can see it before I enter it. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, my look. I would like, I am going to do an art style and an artist. Ah, uh, ha, ha, at the artist part. So many faux pas. Yeah, there are so many faux pas in AI art, arguably. Um, one faux pas is to use or not to use artist names. And then within that, there's even further conversation. I, I'm not running off an NF, NFT right now, right? So I have no pr problem putting in a living artist's name, okay? If, however, I was to create an NFT, I would not put a living artist's name in there and try to bite their style and then sell that, yeah? That would be a faux pas, in my opinion. Not that that is necessarily a faux pas at all, right? Uh, but I'm not putting people on my stuff is what I'm saying, yeah? Not even in here, however, most of my favorite artists, they're deceased artists, uh, Eastern European artists right around during and after the Second World War. Most of them are um, suprematism, um, geometric abstractism, things like that. But my true love is dark arts. Dark arts, Hieronymus Bosch. Um, um, tenebro tenebrism, tenebroso. Um, Francisco Goya, uh, lots of dark content artists, painters. Um, so I brought that up because Vida Ayala, Vida Ayala is alive and kicking and doing beautiful comic book art for Marvel Comics right now. I'm not about to mint this and sell it. I would like it to look beautiful. I would like for this art to be by Vida Ayala. I want it to be, hold on, I use her on my other device that spell corrects for me, so I just don't, I'm just going to check to be sure I'm spelling this individual's name correctly for two reasons, in case you, you guys want to look her up, I can send you in the right direction, and minimize my faux pas, yeah? Okay, so I'm going to put an artist in there. So that's one of the discussions. There's always discussions about AI art. There's even a subculture of people that use AI art, take it out of the AI, modify it, and sell it as digital art, completely trying to avoid representing the fact that underneath some of those minor um, touch-ups, the majority of their art is an AI piece. You know, to each their own. I have no problems. I can't draw very well. I can't. I don't really have the time uh, or the machine for something like Adobe. So um, AI art to me is, is is beautiful. It's a wonderful thing. I've always been into music and lyrics, but I've never been able to make visual arts until recently. So now it's it's. I just I love it. I'm smitten. I'm all about it. I got distracted. Vita Ayala. I'm going to use a living artist's name. And you know what? I'm doing this to give them love. I want it to be by Vita Ayala. 
I want it to be, before this, I'm going to add some more information, some information that's going to make give it a look like, God, this thing doesn't do the spell correct that I'm used to. Uh, okay, that's going to give it kind of a look. Yeah, a painting. I love painterly looks. I could have this photograph. I could put photograph stuff in there. I said I'm going to give you guys different versions of it. I'll show you what I mean. Um, I like a painterly look. I'm going to go with a painterly look. As a matter of fact, Vida Ayala, uh, Vida Ayala is a comic book painter with a uh, very beautiful, bright, vivid um her comic books are very, very clean looking, very bright colored, very beautiful. Um, she's a Marvel, Marvel artist at the moment. I think she's, I forget which X-Men title she's doing. Uh, American Realism, that's going to give it a bit of a rougher look. So she's got a very clean, very clean comic book lines. American Realism is uh, a bit more blotchy, painterly style. I, I'm not gonna say it's uh, it's not it's not terribly blotchy like uh, um, I'm drawing a blank. Anyhow, it's not terribly blotchy, but it's it's not very sharp looking. It's not as sharp as let's say uh, uh, a very fine detailed painting. It's a little a little looser on the details, so it's gonna have to argue that with the sharp, clean, bright colors. Also, the colors are a little more, it's early American art, so the colors are a little more um, drained, you know? Um, this is new consumable media, so it's gonna be bright, it's gonna pop in your face, right? So it's got these two contrasting things, it's gonna, it's gonna work in there together for style and the American realism style. Um, I've got a style, I've got an artist, All right, maybe I do want a little bit of a digital image in there, huh? Huh? All right, a little bit. Not necessarily like a photography digital image. Digital, digital image nonetheless. All right, so I told you guys I would tell you about the uh, aspect ratios, and I did. What I did was I gave you, I went from, I did set square, didn't I? Where's my set square? There we go. There's my set square. Okay? One per one. I'm going to show you the other ones too, I promise. I got you. Set square for the album art. This might be it. It might not be it. Okay. I told you the set square. I told you I would show you the aspects. I've given you one so far. I'll get you some other ones. Um, then I told you the meat and potatoes. Three piece formula. Three course meal. You got your subject. You got your details. And then you've got your look. Your look. Um, I'm going to break all of my behavioral patterns. I'm going to put a suffix in here. I'm going to put a look in here that I said I would never use for you guys. I want you guys to see how it comes out. See if I can remember what it was exactly. I think I remember it. Mm. Vida Ayala, Xbox Series X screenshot, American realism. I'm not done. I, <laughs> I got you guys. I'm going to put some of my magic. I'm going to put some of my magic magic in this first. Okay, so before I send it in, I'm going to do some magic magic. Okay, I'm going to give you guys some of my keywords. I'm going to go back before all of this, and I'm going to do... Ah, what are some of my other ones? Let me see. Hmm... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did I use ominous yet? Yes. Did I use spooky? Did I use gothic? Okay, so I don't need to do it a third time. No spooky. Um, huh. Mm. Mm. 
exalted color theory. There better be some good colors. Yeah? There better be some good MF colors. Look at this. My pal's online. Probably going to spend those. Uh, uh, Anyhow, all right, gouache watercolors, exalted color theory, American realism, Xbox Series X screenshot um, by Vita Ayala. Now, remember I, t I, I said I was going to do a suffix that I said I would never do. I'm going to copy this and paste it. I'm going to change all of this. Shploopal, Jesus F. I did all that just to make sure I had the individual words spelled right because I am just prone. I'm going to do that other thing I was saying too. I'll show you what I'm See what I mean by hard stop, soft stop? This, that, these are together though. The two looks, Art Station, CG Society. I want those, I don't want those hard apart from each other. I want those to blend those together very much the way I have it blending in American Realism and Vita Ayala. Oh, I see, I forgot to put digital painting. Ah, I knew I was missing one of my keywords. Doesn't matter. Oh, uh, that's whatever. All right, so this is my ominous regal Vincent Price. Let's let's go. We're gonna do this. Okay. Mm. Digital. We're gonna get rid of this Xbox madness because I want it to be a an Adobe work essentially. But that's what I mean. Um, an Adobe After Effects. Adobe. I don't know. I'm sorry, After Effects is the movie editing software, isn't it? I don't know. Um, I wanted to have that Adobe look, so digital painting, Vidayala. Um, what was I going to do this time? Uh, oh, okay. I got that ArtStation CG Society working. We're going to do on this one. Oh, yeah, I wanted to get that digital painting in here. This one should be similar to the first one, yeah, but I added that digital painting in there, didn't I? Or is it right? There it is, okay. And I'm going to change Vita Ayala to Ralph Bakshi. If you don't know about these artists, Google them. And enjoy the work. At least read one of her things and watch one of his, yeah? Fritz the Cat. Mm. Just check in. I'm going to spell this gentleman's name right. Okay, I'm going to do one for you. Clear all of this out because I still want the. Oh, take those. I see what. The gothic clothing. Clean gothic details. All right, I don't want the gothic clothing on them no more. Um, and I don't want none of this. Watercolors, painting, Vita Ayala. We're going to do. Mm. 
Oh, shh. I never, never don't put something colors. Oh, one of their secrets, uh, th some of the older literature isn't there anymore. But uh, one of the secrets is to uh, use emotions. Yes, so um, oh, I didn't, I haven't been using anything, have I? All right. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. Ooh, look at that. that is just creepy cool. Look at that. Which one is this? Ralph Bakshi, my guy. Man, this is wicked cool. Look at that cape. Look at that gouache watercolor in the background. Look at that. Look at that serpent-esque creepy for no reason. What is that? Is that the serpent connected to the skull? Look at, look at that's That's the mustache of an old ass pimp right there. Man, that's a cold. He cuts a cold image, doesn't he? Oh, that's a cold MF right there. What do we got up here? What did I do for this one? Art Station CG Society. Let's see a different look entirely. That's a bit creepy. This guy looks like a, the Masonic Master or something. That shit on his lips got some shit on its lip, though. Um, And that's the first one. And I got one cooking still. I really like this. Look at that. You can see the gouache watercolors. That's in the background. Oh. Oh, I haven't even showed you what I could do with the gouache watercolors. Um, huh. All right. So while that, that's looking, you guys, I'm going to purposely hit us with some uh, technical difficulties. I'm not leaving. This is just a break. These are my dark arts. The F is silent. Here I present you the grotesque and violent. These are my dark arts. The F is silent. So fluid, charming, and so lurid. Natural nightmare, the exalted one. Hit a paradigm shift, now I'm the champion. Lead the dark order, minor circle is vile. Better than you, and you know it. Bag snake for your guile. I'm blurting these fraternity, spurting these hyperbole. Take this with some certainty, there's danger in my absurdity. Face stump of my heel, braggadocious appeal. Attack ferocious, the deal. That's my atrocious zeal. Sledgehammer to your throne, your kingdom's my war zone. A steal of my sword. Strong usurp you before long Attack with animosity Disrespect obnoxiously Exposing your hypocrisy Implement blundocracy Prophecy has arrived Contrive these facts or not Of prosperity you're deprived For I've designed your lot These are my dark arts The F is silent Here I present you Humanism, peel your scabs about it. Get out of my ear and kill the social engineer. 
or emanate my fight as your corpse will disappear. You let me get a bar, I'ma take 16. Lay it so clean that it sits pristine. To the gutter and the grind while it sits glistening. Use it as a weapon how I killed this thing. These are my dark arts. The F is silent. Here I present you. The grotesque. All right, I suddenly remembered that I'm on Twitch. And that reminds me I can shill my own projects, yeah? Holy crap, I've messed off the atmospheric lighting, BRB. Oh, wow. Okay, so, let me sit Indian. I hope I don't accidentally nudge the table a bunch of times with my knee, but it's likely. Hey, I forgot to say that my name is Bluntweiser, and I have music on the internet, yeah? On my profile, my Twitch profile, and my board AI profile. Um, let's see this handsome MF. Oh, what? You guys come here? Yeah. I don't know if this is going to show up. We're going to try to get the top. Nope, it's not going to pop up. All right, forget it. We're going to close that out. And I'm going to slide it out of my dock. And um, I want to. All right. So when I came back from my song, I said eerie atmospheric lighting, didn't I? Huh. Well, anyhow, my profile on cent on. Oh, on the handheld devices, if you scroll down here, other than my Twitch and my Gram, which I wanted to show you because I have it curated so awesomely, um, is also my YouTube, uh, my Spotify, my iTunes. You don't have to buy my albums, but you can stream them for free. It costs you nothing to stream. And you guys are, which reminds me, okay, so we're going to paste this in here, and, and I'm going to show you some of my magic with the watercolors, but also this, we're going to do, uh, we're going to clear this out, we're going to do, we're going to do gothic atmospheric lighting, how about that, you think that's going to be cool? I do. I like my my atmospheric lighting. Mm. Yes, that extra space bar. 
is always just to be sure I've spelt the previous word correctly. Mmm, gouache watercolors. I'm gonna give you some of my watercolor magic. We don't need this Xbox. We don't need Vita Ayala. But you know who we are gonna use? You don't. Oh, I got a, I got a few I wanna use. We'll use one at a time. Gouache watercolors. Cause that's what I'm taking you though. I need more than just gouache watercolors. I need I need some painting techniques, yeah? Let's fine tune. Fine tune your art. Do you know how to use a camera? There's a photography club. Okay, I forget what the settings are. The ISO, the shutter speed, that triangle, yeah? Use if you know how to use that triangle in your camera, use that information. Use what um lens. Use what lens? Use if you're using a tube. Use um you don't have to use what camera you're using unless it's a special camera, but like it's a panel vision or but if it's just a digital camera, you don't have to put the brand. Your triangle, use your triangle, insert that, your lens, insert that. Um depth of field, DOF. Um lighting, if you work on a set and you know lighting terminology, if you work in um Adobe and you know Adobe terminology, use all of those words. I didn't know a single thing about art at all, um, other than I needed some visual arts to accompany my audio arts, yeah? So, and I was not particularly ambidextrous. I'm n I don't have the best handwriting and the most beautiful drawing, um, but I love to paint. But I didn't know this. I didn't know anything about art at all because it was far away from me, much like an instrument. So I, I, I don't join a band because I don't know how to play an instrument. But I know how to use a computer. And I know how to take apart information and reassemble it. So so making music is not terribly difficult for me. Um, I'm learning chord progression as I go along, just as I'm learning painting as I go along. I knew nothing of painting in April. I hope you can't see the brand of my drink. In April, I knew nothing of painting. But no lots. Um, you don't have to use the word technique, but... Um, What type of color theory, you guys? Let me see. Is there anybody? Um, anybody out there? How can I check how many viewers I have? I don't know. Um, I have one viewer. What? That's crazy. Hey, viewer. Um, if you want to tell me what word to use before color theory, feel free. I'll, I'll plop it directly in there right now. I'll give you a few moments because in those moments, I want to interact with... Um, the server there's something i want to share from my youtube to ill-advised um something i forgot i had on my on my page i wonder um There it is, okay. Mm. Discord. So, okay, I have not gotten an answer for what we're to use, it's all good. Um, color theory, 
I've got ominous Regal. We're gonna take uh, Regal out. We're gonna use ominous because he's the king of horror. Um, he was a very ominous M effer, and um, what's the one I really really like? Where he played Matthew. Uh, we're gonna keep ominous Vincent Price. Where he played Matthew. Uh, the Witchfinder General. That's the name of the film, I believe. Gothic atmospheric lighting. Gouache watercolors. Wet into wet technique. Wet brush. Something color theory. Um, I'm trying to touch the screen like it's my handheld device. Wow. You guys can laugh at that. I, I, that's a legit silly. Intricate. See what it gives me for an intricate color theory. I had some another keyword I wanted to use, and a painter. Oh, I wanted to use. Um. Mm. I like to use visage. Usually, I usually don't use realistic visage. I usually I would put. Um realistic image or realistic yeah, I would say image or realistic person realistic profile realistic portrait I want it realistic in the face I'll, I don't know why it's drawing that it's having a hard time with his mustache he doesn't always wear a mustache sometimes it's fuller sometimes it's very Salv Salvador Dale esque so it's having a hard time comprehending that he doesn't always wear the mustache and that it's always not, it's not exact, it's not like Tom Selleck. You know what I mean? You're not going to get that Tom Selleck. Put in Tom Selleck, you're going to get that mustache perfect. It's, it's one mustache. He never not wears it. It's Tom Selleck, you know? He's probably going to wear Daisy Dukes, too. And a Hawaiian shirt. You guys are too young to know what I'm talking about. Magnum P.I. Never mind. Realistic um, portrait. Ooh, I got my watercolor techniques in there. Mm. My color theory. Mer oh, uh, an artist. My guy. Um. Mm. I could put a director. But these, this director and this actor have worked together. All right, guys. You might be too young to know him from the Witchfinder General and the original House on Haunted Hill. But this man here, Vincent Price, is the scientist who has worked with the director. Capital, it's a man's name. In what film? In what film did Vincent Price work with the director Tim Burton? Would you a hint? I can give you one. Um, the lead actor of this film would be none other than Johnny Depp. What's that? Johnny Depp has been in several Tim Burton films. Hmm. I don't know what to tell you. Other than it's an early one. Edward Scissorhands? Yes. Yes. It's Edward Scissorhands. He's the old man that gifts to Edward the hands of scissors. That would be Vincent Price. Well, I guess I'll get to this another time because I haven't shared to that page yet, I don't think, or recently, so it doesn't pop up. So I've given you guys the, um, the meat and potatoes, the three-piece formula 
Um, I told you I would give you some other um, aspect ratios. Okay, so. Um, after this is done, because I don't want to change it during it. I don't know if that's going to affect it or not. Probably won't, but I do silly stuff all the time. Um, we're going to do a set vertical. So now we got it set square at the moment. It's not really... I like this one. I like this one. It's trying to do hands right there, and it's also trying to do the frills on the shirt, and it's not sure which <laughs> which one it's doing. But the eyes. Look at the, the brow. Look at the hair. Oh, my God. Look at the cut in that chin. Look at the visage of this dude. Look at the eyebrows cutting up. Uh, look at that, the background. That's look at the textures. I could. Oh, I want to touch it, kinda. I love textures. That's why I like to do the painterly stuff. Um. What else? The squares. I like this one. Um. Set vertical. Oh, look at that. Look at that. What I tell you? Look at that. Look at that. It's painterly, but it's realistic visage. Oh my god. He cuts a cold visage, and I cut a cold ass piece of AI art. I'm just saying, son. Mm, who was I going to use initially? Okay, ah. Uh, uh, before I forget, we're going to come back to you, Vinny, Vinny P. Uh, oh, I had, I wrote a lyric today. What was it? Um, um, in the land of horror. Before Stephen was the king, uh, Vincent paid the price and ruled everything. So, before Stephen King was known as the king of horror, via his films and books, uh, the king of horror was Vincent Price via his film presence. So, uh, that was that. Set vertical. Wait till you see. I got you something cool for set vertical. Watch this. Mm. Uno momento. Let me. Just a moment. I got you. I'm just trying to find... Okay, so 
I'm going to give you two things, a set vertical. The set vertical, if you have Instagram and you have an image splitter, okay? Set vertical and set portrait. Set portrait gives you three by four. I forget, three by five or three by six. Set vertical, three wide, several high. Yeah, I forget how many. Um, so. Now, another hook up here. See how I put marijuana strain? Two things, how I put marijuana strain together as a single word, because I, I don't want it to find marijuana strain, because I don't want a, a diseased marijuana, yeah? I want a marijuana strain. Apologies. The brackets, you see the squiggly, I have, <laughs> I'm silly, I know, apologies. The squiggly brackets, as I call them because I don't know the proper phrasing. Let me just check on my one viewer. Hello, one viewer. What's up? Um, I've put a subject in the squiggly brackets, so the AI is going to go find that subject. It is going to give me whatever's popular. Um, I put Jack Carrere in there, even though I put Indica. Jack Carrere is a strain of sativa. What? What'd it give me, GDP? Anyhow, uh, undefined. No, F that. You're gonna define it. We're gonna make this, uh, uh, gonna make the AI define it. Watch this. Don't be afraid to re-enter your prompt. Don't, don't spam it. But don't be afraid to, as I just did, uh, don't be afraid to um, re-enter your prompt. See, it gave me undefined. To continue my first point, the undefined, when it works correctly, is going to be a marijuana strain. Um, I was, that's why I got into the whole spiel about, he's a famous um, grower. Uh, there's a strain of, uh, a sativa named after him, but as you can see in here, of indica, ocean grown, synonymous together. Yeah, I've uh, got grown indica, hydroponic. You see, we're all more uh, the ocean grown and the hydroponic. Um, hydroponic is indoor. Ocean grown means West Coast style. Indica instead of a sativa. Although I love me some hybrids. Um, I prefer hybrids actually, but. Uh, grown by what I meant by by Jack Carrere is I want a healthy, beautiful, photography worthy plant. So I want it grown by a master. There's lots of photographies of marijuana related to this man's name, whether it's the strain of weed uh, titled by him, um, whether it's something he's grown in the past, him winning a high times competition, uh, an article contributed to him, but with an entirely different image of marijuana. Um, his name is going to drop marijuana. Good looking buds. Quality marijuana. His name is synonymous with quality. Alchemical is one of my secret words that, excuse me, gives me really good looking images. That's one of words that I brought into the machine. I've brought in a lot actually. I brought gothic in. Um, um, alchemical, um, probably some others. See, see, my, my color theory, exquisite, exquisite color theory. Um, mature plants, because I want it budding. Hmm? Mega buds, because I want it, I want F mega buds. I don't want, I don't want uh, popcorn nugs. Get the hell out of here with that. No popcorn nugs, I want mega buds. Um, I want it flower, that's the, the, I want the plant in flower. And so, uh, um, it gives it a lot of information to work on. That alchemical, though. Look at this guy. Okay, let's see. Did it find us? It gave us some blue dream. I like blue dream. I think it's a sativa. Look at that. Look at that Jack and the beanstalk mess. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, somebody break that up. Roll that up for me. Oh, my God. Mm, it looks like it smells incredible. Look at that blue and green. Look at the, oh, look at them orange hairs. What did, what did it give us here? Sour D? It gave us, look at that sour D. Look at the keef on that. Oh, my God. Somebody trim that up and dry it for me. Somebody cure that. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? What did it give us here? Undefined? Mm. Also, even though I put indica, and indicas are bushy, because I have it set vertical, an indica is normally a shorter, bushier plant, and sativa is usually a taller, um, fibrous, taller, more fibrous, stemmier. Um, but because I have it set on vertical, it's filling in that space with the art, yeah? So I know that the one thing contradicts the other, but it's art. It's, 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 it's the thing. Um, people don't really punch bricks. And when you eat the mushroom, you don't actually become a big giant plumber, yeah? yeah you might dream or visualize yourself as being a big giant, but you're not actually a big giant plumber, right? Set vertical. No, that's the one we did. Set wide. Okay, so you could do set wide and set wider. Let's just skip right past the set wide. I told you I live in the G10. We ain't did a single go since I showed you the, the initial go, yeah? I, actually, I kind of hooked you up. You're going to get a lot further with your credits by having watched this, absorbed this, and uh, having this to automatically go in there with. If so, you wish to skip the go and go to the 10, your credits will, will spread a little bit further. Hmm. Okay, let me, I'm going to put this in, and while it cooks, I'm going to bring you over here to one of these uh, threads and give you some more of these uh, literature is what I was calling it. All right. Oh, yeah. Um... I'm going to show you some more of this. Oh, yeah, let's get this prompted. I'm sorry. I would like an... I did, probably didn't bring in ominous. I'm not going to say I brought in the word ominous. But I use ominous, eerie, a lot. Gothic. Um, um, Stark Arts. Look at the name of my club. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, so the community clubs. Um, the one, the, the binary club, zero, zero, one, that's the card game. I want you guys to check that out. Um, I put all this information here and I just realized until you join my club, you guys can't access any of it, but, uh, um, you, you guys can just wiki art and aesthetic wiki, aesthetics wiki and wiki art. Wiki, aesthetics, wiki, art. You guys are good. That's the only two things I gathered. I can't take credit for this. Somebody else brought this to my attention. This is totally me. I stumped on this, and I, I use this rarely. I use this on the regular. Love wiki art. Um, so those are the two things I want you guys to check out. Uh, those are things that you can have open on a separate window if you're on your desktop and just be able to pull from while you're creating your art. Um, ominous. Mm, car nah, let's take that out. I got a better word. Hmm. Mm, you know what? Uh, no shame in my game. I don't. 
Um, should I show you guys? I'm going to show you guys what happens if you use a band word, okay? Oh, shit. I, let, me, let me use one that's not going to get me in trouble. <laughs> I've dropped so many... I think I've dropped several profanities in the stream already. Mm. Band word. Okay, so it's not going to cook nothing for me. This is also what you get when you run out of credits, okay? You put your prompt in, nothing's happening. It means literally one of only two things. It means you've got no credits left. Well, how, Blunt, do I... I got you. Relax, man. Don't get ahead of me. Let me get a get ahead of the issue for you. Um, forward slash the credits. I have mucho mas the credits left. Mm, dismiss. I don't want this junk cluttering up my workspace. You can't um, edit and get an art. You have to start over. Just a heads up. I, <laughs> I tried it umpteen times before somebody told me what I was doing wrong. Like, come on, man. I got. Cr I just checked. I got credits. I just read the whole band, band words list. I found a way around umpteen of them. Don't worry. Mm, Amber Heard could have left chocolate pudding in the bed. Hmm? Chocolate, uh, a log, a log, a large log of solid, solidified or frozen chocolate pudding. That's what Amber Heard left in the bed. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, you just spelled it for me right a moment ago. Mmm. I got a set wider, which means I intend to do a um, a panoramic, yes, but no. What I mean to say is I am doing a landscape, carnivorous, demonic, jungle, underworld. Um, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I would like it to be um, eerie AF, yeah? I don't think I dropped an F-bomb yet. I can refrain from that, at least. Um, carnivorous, demonic, jungle, underworld. My subject. Um, eerie atmospheric, lighting and weather. Um, uh, my uh, details. Uh, fingerling potatoes, yeah? Now, do I just... Wait, wait, wait. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You was gonna let me forget to put my watercolor shit in there, my guy? Come on. Come on, my guy. Uh, um, what else do I do other than that? Yeah, okay, we'll do acrylic inks. Mm. I forgot another tight ass word that I like to use. Oh, oh. 
Squinchies. Mm. I should show you what it does with and without it. I don't. I I cannot say I put that word in here first, but I can say I used it heavily for a very long time and come back to it often. Hmm. Oh yeah. Jesus Christ, I can't spell for shit. Mm. 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 Even though I've got that um, painting information in there, I still want a few of these details, okay? I love These are just kind of like signature things, you know? They're not, you don't, you're going to figure your own ones. These are my signatures. The certain particular artists that I use repetitively, like Francisco Goya. Um, there's another Tenebrism painter I'm totally forgetting. Um, Hieronymus Bosch. Um, Vasily Kandinsky, but specifically for me, the compositional paintings. American realism is one of those ones for me that I, it's one of my signature thingies in there that I use like gouache watercolors. Uh, I use gouache watercolors infinitely more than acrylic inks. Um, ethereal is something I use consistently. This, I can absolutely Without a doubt, say I brought this name in here. Now, I don't want it to give me lions, tigers, and bears. So, I don't want these to be... Uh, I just, I have to though. Now, once again, what I'm doing right now is putting emphasis, at least I think I'm putting emphasis, I'm giving it further communications That's why I put that space in there. Okay, so I have given you a portrait of a dog. I have given you a set square album art or single art. I'd probably choose this one of all the ones I've done today. I don't mind this little mess down here on the bottom because of how impeccable all this other eerie madness is and that background, that wet paint 
the Akron. I I don't use this ending. It's not my thing. It's somebody else's. But it was insanely popular for the longest. Is it was on like maybe forty to sixty percent of the art people were making for a few months. This mother mf right here too. This is a cold piece of art. The lip is a little, little whatever. Um, the eyes, I like the eyes. I really like, the eyes could be better. And I could, f oh yeah, I wonder, um, cool stuff you could do. Okay, so I have this one. I'm going to tell it to sculpt it out. Okay, so even though it's a G10, I can go it. I can go it from here by sculpting it. We're going to slide down here. Now what it's working for me. It's just going to give me four of it so I can sculpt it out. Um, another thing I can do, if you didn't like the face, I I do this being silly because I know it's going to happen. You can improve the face. You can pinch it. And you can polish it. Each of these is something else. The improved face is specifically for the faces. Um, However, it's going to give me more of a photo-esque face. And I've put all this painterly. And you might put, like, um, Adobe stuff in there, yeah? Or rendering rendering programs. It loves rendering program information. Give it rendering, um, light rendering, texture rendering, space rendering, um, character rendering, whatever rendering you do. Um, are you an architect? Uh, do you use drafting programs? Any niche language that you have, feed into the machine and experiment with it, and you'll be able to uh, create a formula of your own. And because you know these niche words, you're going to be able to get very unique, very specific uh, results out of it. And your niche language is going to make your art stand out to you uh, as your own style. Uh, it's going to stand out to everybody as you. Oh, look at that. Look at that, Ivan Durrell. Look at that. That is eerie. That is ominous. I was expecting a lot more. I want to rerun this. I like this. I wanted more foliage. Oh, okay. I'm going to tell it more foliage. See, I took my G10 and I turned it into a GO. So now look at the eyes on this. We could pick a guy with better eyes, but they're all have a different set each. That lip is terrible. The lips are still terrible. Um, is he giving me raspberries or something? I don't know. Okay, so on this one, I like the pink under the, I like those bags. And whew, this one, this one right here, number four, but I don't need it. I have a good one. I just wanted to show you guys that. After you do your G10, if you wanted to do the GO, you could. And also, it, where's the other things? There's the fixed faces, right? Um, now, after you get the fixed faces, after you get the fixed faces, you can sculpt it again. And that will take, it'll fix your face. It'll give you better eyes and nose. You can hit it again. You can keep hitting it until you get eyes and nose and mouth how you want it, right? But after you've got it more how you want it, if it's a bit too much photography, right? Like I said, it's going to give it more of a photograph style. You can sculpt it, and it's going to keep reading your painterly stuff, or whatever you're rendering, whatever you put in. Oh, there's my fixed face. I told you, look at the fixed face. So this one must be the pinch. 
the pinch gave it some VQ, right? Or was the pinch before? Whoa, this one gave me a good mouth. Number two. Look at the eyes on number three. Three's not terrible. It cleaned the mouth up on number three, too. Oh, wow. I'm going to get one of these. I like I like two. We're going to pull two. What command was that? Is it going to tell me? This is the sculpt. Say. What did it do after the... Anyhow. Look at the fixed faces. But now we're going to sculpt it. Look at that. I told you it's more photo-y. It doesn't even look like Vinny P anymore. We're going to sculpt it out, and it'll, it'll smack him back into the information that I gave it. Oh, let's, there's our lush one. I see that. Look at that. I'm going to give you a cool portrait before I go. I'm going to give you a portrait. Oh, we got some things cooking. I wanted to show you down here. This is where we hang out and chat. Usually on the open stage. I usually open the stage. So you guys, if I'm out and about, we can, and you want to talk, just hit me up. I'll open the stage. Usually, if, if there's a, a good amount of people, a literal percentage of people like to hop in there and hang out. See, look at, see, it took it back in more into Vincent Price. Look at number two. Look at number four. Uh, I like four, actually. Look at number three, give him that Salvador Dale look that I, it does it sometimes. I, I understand why. Um, these are all the different clubs. You got to uh, got to be a card holder to get in here. Um, uh, this is the chat. Uh, this is just the list of them. The underwater, the brain matters, the secret menu, street arts, deer club to me, clown club, minimalist, psychedelic landscapes. Mental gymnastics. That one's a hard one to get into. You gotta make good art. Ah, uh, I didn't show you weighted prompts yet. I'll show you weighted prompts. Um, a weighted prompt is like this. Uh, Weighted prompts. You got to be make dope art about time, space, future, science, and technology. And you have to use weighted prompts, which is the weight is the 50%, 75%. Uh, it don't have to equal 100, but it's, it's the, it's the uh, formula that I use is to equal them out to 100%. Just to get kind of a graph of what I'm going to get. Uh, to get understanding what I can expect. Not that you can never expect what to expect, but you get an idea. Um, clowns, Minimals, The Difficult Club, The Math Art Magician, Photography Club, Portraits Club. You got to be here for six months to get into the Portrait Club. And The Mutant Club is about comic books and mutants and such. Board stages where we communicate verbally every Wednesday. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Tomorrow I have to open a stage. I'll be on the stage tomorrow night, you guys, for some time. Mm, that's cooking. I have literature I wanted to show you. Open a ticket um, if you need help. Suggestion box if you have ideas. This is the mentors tab. Uh, I can show you this because there's no prompting going on in here. 
It's just people discussing their art. The mentors are here to teach you guys. So um, ooh, we've got some curators on right now. So we got Luke. We got me. Macarillo is, I believe, the. Um, I do, I'm so sorry. I clicked in your ear. That was terrible, terrible behavior. Landscape, psychedelic, macarillo, uh, dark arts, blunt. I don't believe Deluxe has one. Mega members, these guys all have three cards. These guys are all card holders. All members right here, active members. These guys all own floppy disks. Um, which reminds me, when you guys come, it's very important that you read all of this. I'm going to go over some of it with you. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm not about to read all of this to you, I promise. Come here, make sure to read Facts and Cues. This tells you about the website, tells you about the community. Um, this is where you go to buy your membership on OpenSea. You're going to want a membership. Membership you. We'll get to it at the bottom. It'll show you there's different ways to have different amount of starting credits every day. And the credits reset every day at whatever time. The same time for everybody, but, you know, different parts of the world, different time zones. For me, it's 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time for my reset to get new credits. And on reset, if you didn't spend your credits the day before, they get wiped out. So use them while you have them. Um, you buy your members chip. Your members chip is an NFT. If you don't own one, this will be your first one, okay? Uh, and it, it gets you access to all kinds of stuff. Drops, they'll drop you floppy disks. You can just, you don't have to buy the floppy disk. Uh, you can win one eventually uh, in the drops. Um, uh, the membership is what you want, okay? Um, blah, blah, blah. The more about the membership, gas fees. Members chips levels, there's three levels of rarity, one, two, and three. Members chip, members chip. You're going to want to get one. I've got three. Um, how do you, I create the text to art? We already been through all this. Um, what can you do with your text to art? You can print it. You can post it on social media. You can put it on your skateboard or even make it your Zoom background. Not giving anything away here, but text to art. Do make ridiculous good cover photos. Oh, I mean like um, an album cover or um, the cover to a single, like a song? That's crazy. I love that idea. Um, album covers, we can go on like this all day long. Feel free to check out the product section or our website for additional examples. I'm actually going to go check that out after we're done here. Um, the remint, that's for your floppy. If you put your art in there, when you if you choose to make your NFT anytime soon, um, you're going to type your thing into the thing and make your text to art into an actual NFT. You will need a membership to do that. And the floppy disk is in case the first time you print, you type it out, um, you don't get to use the Go. So you don't get to choose one of four. You, it's more like a G, uh, more like the G10. You get one input. So your floppy disk will allow you to keep re-rolling it until you get one that you like. So you don't need a floppy disk necessarily, but it's it's something nice to have. The people behind the project, Tectana, publicly traded company, industry leader in blockchain, the guys behind AI, uh, behind board AI, um, are some of the guys that helped to build the the blockchain itself um, in different parts of it. Uh, the the web three, web three guys. Um, the vision of the collective. Here's some important stuff. The website. The website is where you go. It'll have the link to the Discord. That's how I found it. I googled text to art because I was already in a different AI art, but it was um, not great. It was, I forget what you call it, um, style transfer or whatever. And so I looked up different types of, of AI art and one of the articles said text to art was a thing. So then I Googled text art, and then text art brought up board AI. I clicked on the board AI, and then that introduced me. I knew about NFTs. Um, what was his name uh, that that dropped that album, a hip-hop album? 
um, Troy Lanes and Snoop, because of these guys, Troy Lanes first, it was initially Troy Lanes, not the, not the Bored Apes and stuff. That's the Bored Apes is something more recent to my knowledge than Tory Lanez dropping that album. Um, so before I knew about the, the, the PFP style of NFTs, I knew about music NFTs, and then not very much about it, just that this guy dropped his album as NFT. And then so I didn't really, NFTs weren't in my head, I didn't know much about them, just that it was uh, uh, a platform that existed. So that was alien to me. Um, but I knew about AI art because I was doing style transfers. I did some deep dream generator uh, until I got kicked off for making racy, edgy art. It's, it's, come on, I'm me. What do you expect? I'm going to do me. Um, so I Googled text art after having read the article, and it suggested this. I come here, and it, it shows me MetaMask and Discord. So I was like... I. Uh, my digital wallet wasn't prepared for me to push the MetaMask button yet, so I hit the Discord button. Um, I had a Discord account that I never used. I guess it was a 2019 account, and I didn't use it till right now. So it was literally brand new to Discord, knew nothing about Discord. Hit the Board AI website, brought me to Discord, brought me here, brings me to me talking to you guys. I was in Board AI when Ill Advised started their their Discord. And when I saw it, um, how did I find their Discord? I don't know. I follow their YouTube, so um, I don't really, I don't follow their other platforms. Like, I guess a lot of people listen to Spotify music. I don't. I listen to YouTube music. So I'm guessing I found their Discord through through one of the links on on um, one of their YouTube videos. It has to be that. Um, but I was, I'm willing to bet I'm one of the first people to, to have text, texted in their chat room. Um, so anyhow, I got Board AI was my very first server on Discord, and then I joined some others, and then I made two for, for close and family. But the only two servers, look at, you see what two servers I have out. You see these. You see these guys are tucked away. This this is where I'd be at. Um, so the website takes you to MetaMask. MetaMask is what you're gonna want if you're gonna buy your when you go to buy your membership. MetaMask is a digital wallet that's going to hold your your membership. It's also where you're going to put your your um, money from your bank card or your prepaid card to buy. Excuse me, apologies. To buy your uh, ETH, I bought it with ETH. Um, you're going to buy ETH to buy your membership. Facts and cues, open C, so you can go pick out what membership you want. There, I got my first membership before the reveal so before the reveal the memberships were in little treasure boxes and nobody knew what theirs looked like so uh and on reveal day uh at a certain time of the day all over the world everybody got the reveal and uh people shared it you could share what your what your membership looked like you guys get to go in there and just pick what it looks like my first one um was a reveal i didn't know what it looked like and but the other two i bought i picked them out open c is where you're going to buy your chip or your disc or both. I got both. I have one. I bought the floppy first, and then I bought an MC before reveal, and then after reveal, I got two more. Um, this is all the other people that have already made NFTs with their floppies and their members chips and their te and their text arts. This is the collection of Board AI arts. You make your art, it's yours. It's in your wallet. You could choose how much to sell it for, but it appears in the collection, the Board AI collection, uh, because you're uh, a board AI artist, so it's like they're 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 your your Sears, your um, they're your brand name. It's you know what I mean. It's it's uh, brand recognition. It's a platform. So having they organize it all together. Everybody's AI arts come together. It's but each each person owns their own art until they sell it. But the uh, the board AI o acts as a gathering um, to bring them all together. I told you the Twitter, officially Bored AI. Um, these guys, these are the uh, the guys, you know, the these guys over here, above these guys, the mods, the, the, the coders, the, the guys above the mods. These are the gentlemen, two of the gentlemen uh, behind the scenes. 
Um, Twitter, Twitter. We board, officially board. Um, oh, wow, they have a TikTok. Okay, cool. And a Reddit. I will have to subscribe to that. Yeah, so I wanted to bring it here. Okay. Check out my art. This is the good stuff here. Mm. Look at that. Oh, I forgot I had it set on wide. See the 75% painting, 25% uh, photo? That's your weighted prompt. Look at that mustache. She got the mustache a lot better when I put a little bit of photo information in there because it draws uh, from things that it knows. It doesn't know paintings of Vincent because not many of them exist, I'm sure, but it knows photo images because a photo image is essentially a screenshot from a film. Same, same F thing. Uh, are, are you even charging? So there is my weighted prompt. Back to... What you guys want to know? Oh, wow, look at that. I came in at two credits per day. You guys get five. What? Come on. Um, uh, fresh painters. We all start out as fresh painters. And then, um, where's it at? And you get your gorilla status. Look at all that. Look at these medals. Uh, I'm a curator. I'm a mega holder. I'm a mentor. I'm an MC holder. I'm a club leader. What club, you ask? You know damn well what club. The Dark Arts. Uh, I'm a trippy clown and a minimalist and a deep diver and a psychedelic explorer and a gymnast and a photographer and a transmitter. Hmm. A street artist, a dark art artist, a mutant crew, a text artist, a fresh painter. I never earned text artist pro. I, uh, I must have just leapt right on beyond that. This isn't mine. This is Fonzie's. I don't know why I'm also the assistant. I th this should be fun. This is somebody else's award. Um, five per day, you guys. And since you're not using the Go, I put you up on game and I sent you to the G10. That's five images. Uh, you can earn Text Artist Pro. You don't need an MC to earn Text Artist or Text Artist Pro. These are just um, statuses you earn by creating a lot of art. You got to create, stay active in the community. You have to chat it up in the main hall. I was going to call it Gin Chat because that's the old name for it. You got to chat in the main hall. You got to friend up some people. Yeah. Um, bring a friend in. It's, it's addictive by itself, uh, doing it alone. Would you bring a friend in? Then you can compare and you guys can bounce ideas off of each other. It is so much fun with a friend. Um, five per day as a fresh painter. Six per day as a text to artist. Ten per day as a text to artist pro. And these are statuses you just earn simply by tweeting and sharing your tweets into proof. Yeah? Uh, participating in win credits. Um, you can, if you make really good arts, I can show you these. This is the gallery. This is where you come and share your best stuff. Ooh, look at that. Look at all of this creepy madness. Oh, my God. These are winners of a mini game. All these arts were submitted. Look at this. This is creepy AF. I like this. Look how, look how clean that is. Look at how utterly demented th this is. Look at this. This is some Five Nights at Freddy madness. Who put Who put Bella in the Witch Elm? Huh? Which one of you guys did that? Come on. Oh, wow. Uh, this looks like, a, what do you call him, a skinwalker kind of? Not necessarily, but, you know, maybe. Definitely a demon. Oh, my. Okay, look at this crazy madness. Portraits. They look steampunk, maybe, I'm guessing. Steampunk portraits. These look like grass savages. That's crazy. I'm crazy. This looks like it may be Bryn Ravens. Oh, bunny. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Look at There's a skinwalker. Wendigo. Yeah, okay. 
Wendy goes, Wendy goes out the wazoo. Amy's, that that one's my favorite one. You know what? That's not sufficient. All right, so to get your text to Artist Pro, you chat it up, yeah? You drop some stuff in the gallery. Um, you tweet and share back into proof. Mm -hmm. And then um, I was reading from... All right, so when you get a floppy, you get 15 credits per day. When you buy your members chip, you get 25 credits per day. As a mentor, you get um, 45 credits per day. As a member, a mega member, three members chips, 53 credits per day. As a curator, as a curator, I'm a curator. This is the height of my career thus far. You get 68 credits per day. Look at this. This is what I'm working on. I'm trying to get this. If I get this, you know I'm sharing. You just saw me drop, uh, what was it, 60? These guys helped. These board apes are some of the guys that, that helped uh, the board AI team uh, in the early stages of the project. Um, so that's their affiliation. All these are uh, mucho importantes. Yeah. Look at that. Look at, look at, come on, you guys. Like, I got Lo-Fi Girl in here with seven hits. On the board server, come on. You know this is me. You know I put this here. And if I put that there, who put this here, huh? Huh? Uh, okay, I got you, I got you. Mm, so anyhow, this is how you get your credits. You climb the social ladder, uh, so to speak, uh, and be active to get up to here. And then... You invest into your your AI arts on, on these tiers here. This is not one you can buy into um like the M like the mega the M the M C or the floppy. Um mentors you don't have to buy into. You can spend your time here and become a mentor. You can earn forty five credits per day based on being invested in the server, investing your time and helping people and teaching people, learning enough to be able to teach people without having bought your, your membership yet. Let's say you want to hold off on it, but you still want to show your dedication. You maybe don't want to make that large of an investment right away for whatever reason. I did not buy my membership right away. I bought, an MC, I bought a floppy first. I ended up getting three, but I watched the prices. I watched the ETH. I watched the candlesticks red, I watched the candlesticks green, and I bought it when I bought it. I bought mines when I bought mines, all three of them, and I got decent deals for mine. I got one for like 80-some-odd bucks. Um, that was the lower one. The other ones weren't too much higher by maybe 15 or so bucks. Watch the market, get your piece. You don't need, to, if, while you're watching the market to get your piece, become a mentor. Um, And uh, the mega member, you have to, uh, cu uh, curator, uh, this you pretty much have to have your, your chip for. Um, curator, I don't think you necessarily have to have your chip to become a curator either. This you can earn through investing time also. So some of these you can just straight up earn instead of purchasing in. So I wanted to, this is the last piece of uh, literature I wanted to show you guys. Uh, when you guys come, please read all that stuff that I glanced past, yeah? And make sure to uh, read the terms of service. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to call it a night, you guys. Uh, I've enjoyed the time, and I hope this is helpful. Um, I actually have an outro screen, so where did I put it? It's the peace screen. I'm going to hit you with the peace screen.
shadow was integrated, embraced and reciprocated. Room is heavy with a haze, a spirit entered and it stays, makes its presence felt and known. On its energies I do hone, lock my focus on its force, steal it for myself of course. All the vibes that I create, multiply and perpetuate. Use this salt to draw a symbol, my logo is my sigil, druid bard, my credential to oversee this midnight vigil, witching our activities. Unseemly proclivities, you know what puts the fear at ease. Participating in each of these, the night is cold, the glow is gold. At the seance that I hold, the Ouija board will unfold. Deadly mysteries untold. Place your hands upon the planchet on the night. Align the planets, ask a question, open the gate. Souls will come, and now it's late. Moonlight communes with the darkness at night. have woken live and sacrifice the token cells between the realms have broken power in the spells i've spoken every syllable's a weapon wicked arsenal's obsession weaver of your soul's oppression challenge at your own discretion i am an enigma shrouded in a mystery then doubted where the flames of hell spouted when the whore of avalon was mounted beard as red as mars and sky fire sign ram